Zoe's Trades here, and today we'll be having a look at the um, Focus R3905, the Great British Rail Freight Class 47, Edinburgh Castle 47727, in the Caledonian State Livery. It's as part of Hobby's Railroad Range. So let's open it up and see what the locomotive is like. So, got polystyrene. Well, that's easy, we can just open that up and whoa, wow. So this is the 47, we just open this bit of plastic up like that, got a bit of sellotape, there we go, and get that opened up, cool. Of course, a lot of stair tape. I suppose that's a good thing, at least it's secure. So, you've got the. Uh, before we uh, continue, I can finish opening this to look at the instructions. Just how to put in um, buffers. I think the sprung actually, which is quite good actually. That's good. It's DCC ready, um, so you can place the body, lubrication. All that kind of good stuff. So, let's head back to the 47. So, open, open that up. And there we go. So, let's hope it's focusing. There you go. So, remove this even more plastic. Oh, careful, careful, careful. And there it is. The buffers aren't sprung, uh, but that's fine. Doors also do not appear to open, but that is also very fine. So, let me just go and put the camera up so we can have a better look at the uh, 47. So, it is very light. Um, we'll have to see how light it is because it is just so light. Um, focus. There you go. So the um, the front of the 47 does look very detailed, extremely detailed, um, especially the bogies. Um, here, just zoom in a bit. Oh, you can you zoom in? Kind of. You can't zoom in. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Um. Well, anyway. So you have a Scotland Edinburgh Castle, but the bogies, they really are very, very detailed. And this one's the motor bogies. You can tell because it's a bit, there's a bit, got quite a bit less flexibility. Um, the bodywork is good. The bodywork's good. Um, so is the livery with the all new, brand new Caroline Sleeper logo. And the typography as well. Is top notch. What it says there? Well, I'll have to find out. So, this is the top. Um, so, there is a bit of detail on here. And a hole. We have a hole. Well, that's always good to know. But anyway, so this is quite a nice locomotive. Um, it is light, but on, but all around it is a very nice locomotive. So I'll just have to see how well it runs on my layout. So here it is, it's on my layout. So, just going to zoom out. Oh, that's, that's zooming quite in. Zoom out. There you go. So we are now going to see if it can run well on my layout. So uh, I'm never sure which power, um, which track power, well, the, the um, which controller it is. So we're just going to see if we can get it. Oh. Okay. So. We have found it. 
And in me to see it's already drilled, is it? Yes, it has. Okay. Um, no big deal whatsoever. Um, but let's see how it runs. It does run well. Whoa, 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 that's a light. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, focus, boss it, do the repair. Fix everything. Why did I put the lights up? Why did I decide to leave the lights on? Oh. Right, I got this. What you need to do is just carefully remove a bit of sand tape. Just carefully. Okay, so, um, just fixing a couple things. Cool, right, so, uh, now I think we can let the 47 run perfectly around the layout. Just give me a couple of seconds to fix the lightings a bit more, so now you can no longer really see them. So, focus, there you go. Uh, that way. So we are coming quite close up to the wall, and it's already derailed. Yeah, it seems to be the um, the non-motorized bogies. It seems to cause a problem. Focus. Come on, focus. Focus. There you go. So it seems to be that these bogies are cause of all the trouble. I'm just going to move it back slightly and fix up the scrapyards. There you go. So, oh, it's already broken. Now, I will say that the track is a bit dirty, so um, I will get that fixed and looked at. Mm -hmm. And there's an obstruction on the line, of course there is. But will it handle the tunnel? Yes! It can handle the tunnel. Let's try the other um, controller. There you go, that's the problem. Crossing on from one line to another. So, it runs well. It runs very well, actually. So, would I wreck? So, um, this is a very short review, I know. You just want to see it run. <laughs> but there is a couple more tests that we need to conduct. And that is. <laughs> oh dear. No, wrong, 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 wrong one. Zoom out. Zoom out. There you go. Will it pull coaches? Because, as you know, this does work with the cardio sleeper. So it's imperative that we know how many coaches it can pull. So I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking some Mark 1s that we have over there. And I have some Mark 2s down in here and where the 87 is right there. So, so that's uh, very fun, that's very fun. So I'll get them out and you can see how many carriages this 47 can pull. So it's, all, it's obviously it's very important, we know. Okay, so we have the passenger test now. So the 47 is at the front go and then we have a few mark threes 
Like, at the moment, there's only currently about five Mark threes. Um, at the moment, so you have progressively zooming in. What? There you go. Right, fixed it. Whoa, that's gets good zoom actually. I need, I need to do a separate review for this camera, don't I? So you have you got a Virgin Trains Mark Three, a Royal Train Mark Three, a First Great Western Barbie livery is actually called. That's actually what it's called, um, Mark Three. Another Royal Train Mark Three, just just progressively zooming out. Come on, focus. There you go. And then, of course, you have the Intercity Pullman, which I actually got from a train fair. And, of course, you have the 47. So, we'll add, I'll add um, more carriages uh, when I review, when, when we get to the, um, when, if the train can pull it, so we'll see how many carriages this train can pull. And if you just all, all my, my Mark 2s up, Mark 2s and 3s, then, uh, then we know it's a good. It's good. So, um, apply power now. It's struggling. To its, um, to its credit, this isn't uphill, but it did manage to get up with it, get up here with no problems so um so we'll, we'll give it a bit of a push there you go so that seems to have fixed it so that it comes so yes it can pull five coaches easily which is good so if you bring it to um the coach loading station there. So if you want to bring it to a stop. Uh, now. There you go. Right, so we need to grab a, another Mark Three to add there. So, um, I think we'll have a intercity one this time. So it's slightly shorter, but it, it, it's a Mark Three. So about that. Oh, the lights have fallen down. Ugh, great. I've got to fix this now. There you go. Okay, so fix that up. And so we have the 47 at the front now with six coaches. So, um, focus, come on. Anyway, we just have to continue with it whilst it's out of focus. So, apply power, and here it goes again. So yes, it can pull six coaches quite easily. There you go. So six coaches very well. So we will just bring it to a sudden stop now. There you go. So stopping, stopping, um, to stop, it does stop very well. And considering this is track which has been which is slightly dirty, it's actually doing very well. Like with the um, 87, the 87 performed very well. Uh, it still performs well to this day. So, we'll add another bar first Great Western Barbie um, Mark III. Come on, focus. Focus, come on. Well, you should, there you go. So we have the Bowie Mark III 
to the uh, front, well the rear now, of the train. This is seven carriages in length. And for a railroad um, train, I think that's actually quite good. I haven't actually got a railroad um, locomotive before, so... Uh, have I? No, not really. Tetris figures cancelled. Oh. There you go. Right, so, by power. Okay, um, so it is starting very slowly though. It's going very well, I have to say. It's performing exceptionally well. So, bring it now to a stop. Round right about now. There you go. So, there, and we only have two Virgin Trains Mark 3s. Um, let go, just trying to focus. Come on, there you go. So we this be have this left is to be carriage number eight. So we have eight full HST set of coaches. So let's see how it, let's see how it will perform. Now to make sure the lights are actually still gonna stay on. Good. Right, so focus. The train's actually inside the tunnel now. Um Come on, focus. Just zoom in prop. There you go. It's actually be quite a good um, feature to see if this does have working lights. I haven't actually tested that yet. Um, I don't think it has. It has not got working lights. Well, look, I have some factor in. So it's performing eight coaches well. Um, I mean, it does cover half my layout, but you know, eight coaches is relatively good. It's really good, actually. Um, there you go. So we are just going to bring it to another sudden stop here. There you go. So we're going to add our ninth coach now. Which is a another Virgin Trains Mark Three. So put that on the track. There you go. And that's our, that is actually a first class um it's the first class carriage. Please zooming in. There you go. So, so come on, focus, focus, come on. When you really need it, the autofocus isn't up to scratch. This is a new camera as well. This is very, this is quite a new camera. We've only just unboxed it today. One. Just, just try zooming out and that will work. Anyway, so this is a ninth carriage, which is actually first class. So um, let's see how it will run. It's actually on the other side of the um, other side of the tunnel. There you go. So it's um, oh, come on. There you go. Look. It's first class. Okay, so it is covering half my layout now, nine carriages. So let's see if this 47 can run. Ooh, bit of struggle at the start. 
tiny bit of struggle at the start, but it's performing well. Look at that, it is performing exceptionally well. If a little slow at the start. Oh no, it's had focus. So it can firmly pull nine carriages, which is all the Mark 3s I have. So we will now take them off and see how good the crawl is, because we need to test the crawl. Okay, so um, we have now got the freight test to do before we actually do the crawl test. Uh, we want to see how fast this could go because I don't want to break it, um, because it's a very curvy track. Uh, but anyway, I have to go through the point test as well. We'll have to go through the point test as well um, as well as the crawl test. So it's got a lot of tests to do before I actually give my verdict. But the freight test is it consists of all the freight that I actually own, and since. You know, it is a mixed traffic locomotive, it should be able to handle passengers and freight. At least, it should. This test should highlight whether this Class 47 can pull freight. We'll have to t take some um, pieces off if the train, if, if obviously it can't handle it. So let's go and see what, what this, uh, if the 47 can pull. So we have a brake van, we've got two coal wagons, two EWS wagons, another coal wagon, uh, a box car, a cow car, a cattle car, tanker, open wagon, another tanker, box car with no roof, cattle car, hopper, and of course got a milk um, tanker as well. So, let's have a look. Oh my word, yes it can. It can pull all of these. Yeah, it is kind of prone to, you know, slightly derailing. So um, yes, it can pull these very, very well. So, uh, we'll now have to take this off and see what my verdict will be. We've got to take this off, then we're going to do the point test, the clone, the point test, the crawl test, then my verdict. Yay! So we are now ready to do the point test. The points have been um, set to the correct way, so it should go that way. I should have set it to go that way, but then of course you've got the lights to deal with, and I am in no mood dealing with lots at the moment. So we just need to um, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. There you go. So focus, there you go. So uh, apply power. And it's derailed. Ooh, it's derailed. Okay, um, give me easy sorted. I just need to put it back onto a straight bit of track. Okay, let's try again to slow power. Okay, we'll give it one extra lifeline. Okay, it has failed the point test. It has derailed. This is a point of mine, fault of mine. No, no fault of mine. So we will now do the crawl, the aforementioned crawl test. So I'll just put on there now, once I get the um, train in position. Okay, so let's look at the crawl. Okay. Uh, 
It does have a goodish crawl. It's got a good crawl actually. So I give this a solid 8 out of 10. That's what I give it. So now it is on to my verdict. So I think the class 47, this one in particular, is quite a good locomotive. It's good, it's a good hauler. That's what I will say. The crawls, okay, it's good. Could be better. And the detail, for railroad, it's good. Especially with etched nameplates, externally mounted uh, handrails, the bogey detail, and of course the front detail is probably what I'd give um, as good, as good um, detail. But the top really isn't, it's, it's good-ish. It's good-ish. The de de detail at the top, but the rest of the detail is good. So, um, I actually don't know how much this cost because it was given to me as a gift. But if I was to pay this, I would pay in any any in excess between seventy and a hundred and ten British pounds sterling. That's what I would pay for this locomotive. So, um, would I recommend it? Hmm. If your layout has a lot, hasn't got a lot of points, and you need a good locomotive to pull heavy goods trains or express passengers, then yes, I would recommend it. But if you want it as a sort of stable, stable lo uh, locomotive, I want to use it as a sort of shunter and or use it in a port that has lots of points. No. But um, I do really like the class 47. But um, I, do, I do really like the class 47. That's all I've got to say. Goodbye.